How's everybody doing this morning? Uh, it's time for our lovers, twin flames, uh, divine counterparts, <clears throat> so high level soulmates in separation reading. So if you are in separation, this reading is for you. Let's see what energies are around you uh, for today. We're not going to uh, do any flowery stories about, you know, what your twin is doing. We're going to look at what your energies are and what our energies are available for you. So let's see what energies we have uh, for those lovers in separation. So today's message is soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So for many of you, you've been uh, praying for this, right? A soulmate, somebody who will come in that's easy, that's uh, not toxic, that's not, you know, driving you into all sorts of fits and rage and triggers, something that just comes and slides in and just a happy uh, type of a meeting. Uh, this is the energies that is possible uh, for you uh, within this time. We are coming on to the Twin Flame uh, portal, the 1111 portal. I do have a, a group healing going on tomorrow, uh, today is Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. There's still time to sign up for it. And even after the uh, event, uh, you can still get the replay. So no matter when you're watching it, uh, it's still something that's available. Just reach out to me. Uh, it's going to be light language. It's going to be Reiki. It's going to be uh, affirmations. It's going to be meditation and also cards of guidance. Uh, so with that, let's see what other energies are available to us for this <clears throat> weekend just before the Twin Flame portal, the 1111 portal. So the energies are really strong right now. Spirit, show me what's available to everybody for this ones that are in separation. What's out there for them? Have any more cards, Spirit? Hey, Spirit's got a few cards. Uh, too many cards, Spirit. I'm only going to take one on top. And so let's see what we've got here. So we've got benefit of the doubt. Right? So the soulmate may be coming in, but it may not be what you think it is uh, or who you think it is. And so give everybody who comes in the benefit of the doubt, be open, but be discerning. Because right now you're in time apart. But the energies are there for you to be falling in love and you're getting guided uh, to that great love. Let's see what other energies want to present themselves. Within this uh, situation here, so spirit, just remember this is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If you're looking for your own reading, uh, please do reach out. I do readings and uh, light language healings. And so let's see what spirit's given us uh, this weekend before the 1111 portal tomorrow on, on uh, Monday. So dreams, spirit saying, share your dreams, the dreams of that great love that you have. But look for ways around obstacles because there are some obstacles out there, right? And that's why you're in that time apart. And part of those obstacles is temptation, right? And this is where we get uh, kind of veered away into our karmic loop. I know I, I got a few uh, booty calls uh, last night at 4 30 in the morning. It was temptation, but you know, you know that that's just not right for you. So you've got to kind of run. Uh, away from the temptation, the obstacles, and really go into yourself to understand what you truly want for yourself. And Spirit's saying, cherish your relationship, right? Your relationship with yourself, cherish your relationship with others, uh, but make sure that you're cherishing the healthy parts of it, not the trauma. So let's see what's going on uh, in the situation of love here for everybody in uh, separation today. So let's see what spirit wants to give us and remember uh, if you are interested in really removing those blocks that you have uh, for love uh, the 11 11 portal which is monday is probably one of the best times of the year uh, to you know get into those energies of love and remove any energetic blocks and remove all the other blocks that you've created within yourself to keep you from getting into that love that you really want right and that is, a, there is a group healing we're having. That's uh, with my uh, co-host, Spiritual Susan. 
Uh, we go on usually every Sunday morning for uh, free card pulls this Sunday. We won't be because we're going to be getting our energy together uh, for the group healing for Sunday afternoon. Uh, if you're interested, please do reach out. It is donation based. So spirit, what are the energies that we have available uh, for us? Show us what's in the energies uh, within the collective separation. Wow, spirit just lost a, a whole stack of stuff here. So let's hope we have enough time to go through it all. Uh, and a lot to say. So a lot of you were stuck in third parties, right? There were other things that got in the way of you and your person from being together. Um, which other one here? You felt unappreciated, right? Why? Because you guys were pulling yourself apart way too thin. There was a lot of dishonesty, right? They, you both were wearing masks. You weren't telling the whole truth. You all had responsibilities, right? Things were just kept on pulling you away from these energies that are available to you. But guess what? That person had a soul tie. Now, most likely that's your soul mate, but it could be a high-level soul mate, which is what I would define as a twin, but you can, you know, define it how you want. It's just the way that we define things down here because we have to put a box on things. What you have to do is just look at it as a possibility of a great connection. And Spirit's saying, take some time and reflect, right? Reflect on all these obstacles, all these challenges, all these things that have kept you into this hamster wheel of karma over here. And as you do, get into that place of dishonesty to reveal. I want to tell you the truth. And both of you want to get into that space of being who you truly are. And the only way to do that is actually go through yourself. Person wants to come in with a commitment. And what does that mean? If you're dating already, then maybe there's a, you know, next level commitment. If you're not dating, maybe it's time for somebody to come in that's willing to commit. It's all going to start with a conversation. And a new chapter, right? It's time to move on from all of this and get into this. So let's see where the blocks are uh, for the collective that are uh, listening to this. Uh, there are, you know, this is where we look at, you know, and this is one of my, I always say this, probably every read you guys are tired of hearing me say it, but this is one of the most powerful things that you can find uh, in your quest for love. And that is, what is it that is really blocking you? Why can't you get to this place? Because if you're watching this, you're in separation. So why is it that you're in separation? Why can't you get to the place over here? Because the energies are there for you. They are. They're right here. They're sitting here. They're saying it's time. Right? Smack dab in the center. Your soulmate's ready to come in. So what are you blocking and how? Right? And so spirits just threw out two cards at us. And for those watching today, right, burned out. You feel emotionally burned out re right now. Retreat and recover before continuing. And so spirit's telling you to get in this reflection space because you've been trying so hard that you're just burnt out. You don't know what to do anymore. You're frustrated. You feel stagnant. And it's time to go within and figure out why it is that you're that way. And too much. You tell too much. Tell others too much about yourself all at once. Sit back and listen more. So you're, you know, I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember the honeymooners. And Ralph Cramman is sitting there going, you're a blabbermouth, right? And that's what's happening here. You're blabbing it out so much. It's like you're puking everything out at once and that doesn't give anybody a chance to actually breathe nor does it give a chance to understand who you are in smaller bits so that they can actually allow it to sink in so slow down don't push yourself out there so much that you become attached uh, kind of like a leech where you're clinging on for dear life what you got to do is relax and allow things to flow as they naturally do organically allow conversations and conversations are a two-way street right you have to speak listen listen speak and understand right and a lot of us don't do that because we're just so craving that energy of love uh, that once we find a connection uh, any type of connection we don't want to let it go because we're afraid it's going to leave us like everything else has and that's what creates this karma 
It's that fear. And so what we want to do is get out of that place, right? And so for you people watching it today that are resonating with us, read so much, please pay attention to this. So let's, let's, now we kind of know where our blocks are, right? Let's go to our higher self and let's say our future, and we were going to go to our future higher self. And why do we go there? Because our future higher self is the one uh, that has solved it because, you know, time's kind of an illusion and everything is happening in the now moment. So at this point in time, there is a version of you that has solved this issue. You just have to get to that frequency of that person. So we're going to get to that version of you that solved this. How did you get there? Right? Tell us what the collective needs to know right now. Spirit, what does our future higher selves who have solved this want us to know? And we've got two cards popping right out. And what they want us to know is, you have many layers of truth to discover, right? And that's why we need to kind of go within and start peeling those layers out so we can get to this energy. And everything you want is on the other side of the unknown, right? And so why, why that's a kind of cryptic message. And what does that really mean, right? If you peel it apart, what Spirit is saying is get out of the place of fear, right? You're afraid of walking through the door. You're afraid of being vulnerable. You're afraid of getting out of the comfortability of trauma because most people are in that space of trauma that all you know is trauma. You're in you know, one of those areas where it's always war. There's always something going on, and you're just constantly in it. And to go to a place that's of peace is really hard for you because you don't know what to do with it. It's like being in a cave, right? It's dark, it's cold, and it's damp, but that's your home. That's what you know because that's what you've experienced your entire life. And all of a sudden, you come out to a paradise with sunshine and beach and, you know, trees and flowers and all these wonderful animals that are friendly. And what do you do? You run back in your cave. Why? Because you're afraid. Because you're afraid of that bright sun because it's too bright. It's too hot out there. Oh my God, that water, it's too scary. And so what your spirit is saying is it's time to get out of that fear, out of that fear, out of that comfortability of trauma and move yourself into a place where you're allowing things, new new experiences to happen and not you're not afraid that that new experience is going to get pulled away from you, right? And this is a, it's a big lesson. It's one of the lessons I've been working on myself even is Knowing that, you know, you're in that comfortability of trauma, but that's not where you're meant to be. And you need to kind of allow things to go past that trauma and know that there is some trauma. It's going to be there, but it's going to go away. But you have to open for new possibilities. So with that, let's see uh, some timing, right? And we, we talk about timing. And I know my co-host, she, she hates doing the timing uh, and the reason she hates doing it is because it's, you know, sometimes sets up expectations and she's right. You know, that there are, um, those expectations sometimes keep us blocked. So what we're going to do is we, we look at it as possibilities, right? So when is a possible solution, right? And when it's a possible, yeah, it can happen or it can't because it's only as good as the next decision that you make. The energies right now are pouring towards possibility of, and they threw three cards at me, which is usually not usual for here, maybe four. So for some of you, you're wasting your time because you're sitting in a trauma. For others of you, a little bit of patience is required because it's next year. And for some of you who have started to go within and started to heal just around the corner. And again, it's a you know it's a good advertisement. I hate to be such a hawker uh, for the group healing, but I, I do want you know I'm a spirit, silver fox spiritual healing. I'm a healer first, card reader second, and so what I want to do is help people get out of that trauma space. And uh, we take advantage of the portals that are out there. And the portals, why are they so powerful? It's because everybody believes it, and it's a collective manifestation. They could be any day, but as long as everybody seems to believe within those any day that it is a powerful manifestation portal, it is, and those energies become huge because the collective is working with you, not against you. Uh, they're not going for their own things. They're going for the same things you are, which is manifesting love. And in order to do that, we take advantage of those energies that are available because the collective is helping us. And we try to heal in the best way possible. Uh, there is still time to sign up for it. 
Uh, but this is my read. Uh, if you are interested in the group healing for the Twin Flame Portal, 1111 Portal, uh, the healing is focusing on love. Uh, it's going to focus on whatever kind of love that you want, whether that's romantic love, whether that's familial love, or just love for yourself. Each one of those energies are available. We'll be bringing down light language, Reiki, um, cards of affirmations, uh, or sorry, cards of guidance, affirmations, and meditations. And it'll be about an hour, hour and a half. It'll be on Zoom, and it will be recorded so that you are able to either join if it's outside of your um, time zone, or if you would just like to rewatch it, because every time you rewatch it, there's going to be more layers uh, of that healing uh, to come through. Uh, it's still time to do it. Send me a you know send me a DM or an email. Uh, minimum donation is thirty dollars, less than price of two cups of coffee. I'm not one of those that does these crazy hundred and eleven, two hundred and twenty two dollar healings. Healing is a lifetime journey. And so we need to do it within manageable steps and also manageable prices uh, because, you know, this gives you the chance to see what a, you know, one-on-one -on -one light language uh, or Reiki healing would give you, uh, but at one fraction of the cost. So with that, uh, I thank everybody for watching. Uh, please do reach out uh, if you're interested. Still time to sign up. And also at the same time, uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for your own personal reading or light language healing, uh, please do uh, reach out as well. Cheers. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy your weekend.